Hello, this is the leader of Team Get Rec Robotics, and today we're going to be taking a look at the newest version of my one pound crusher bot, Backstabber. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know Backstabber by now as the bot that just always gets destroyed by any fierce opponent ever. Very well. Oh, and another one's off. Yeah. So yeah, clearly those two previous versions of Backstabbers had their issues. So uh, third time's a charm, I guess. Also, Backstabbers actually a year old now. Happy birthday! I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so we're pretty much gonna be taking a look at Backstab. We've done several upgrades to it, and uh, hopefully that allows it to be the best spot it can be. Since I plan on entering it along with a new version of PFR later or whatever in Robot Ruckus from in Orlando Maker Fair, Florida. I'm gonna link a description to their website down in the video. So uh, let's take a look at those upgrades. So first, let's start off with Backstabber's drive motors. It actually has way bigger drive motors this year. Um, it actually uses, I don't know if, if you can see it from here, it uses two um, planetary gear motors from Servo City. Um, they're very, they're actually really close to the ones you see at botkits.com. They're mainly used in Beatles. But they are incredibly fast motors, and for this version of Backstabber, I wanted to be as fast as possible, since one of his issues last year was that robots were always getting to its sides because it was just so slow. Um, another thing new about Backstabber is that instead of a 2S battery, which you should never use for an ant weight, I just now learned, it has a brand new 4S, no, 3S nanotech battery with about... I don't know if you can see it in focus here. 450 my amp, Mali Ampire, my M A H, frick, I can't pronounce things today. Um, for the ESC, also just I find it funny how I don't even have to open anything. All of Backstar's electrons are just exposed because of weight, which I'll get into later. Um, it uses a Scorpion ESC from Botkits.com. They're also mainly used in Beatles, but a good chunk of ant waste use them as well. And of course, we can't forget about the thing that makes Backstabber Backstabber, and that's its crusher, powered by one linear actuator from actuonics.com uh, or something. I don't know the website's name, so I'm going to link that too. Here's a better view of it. I actually have a spare because this thing... It, if it gets hit by anything, it's, it's, it's going to get broken, and I definitely need a second one just in case. Um, for the receiver, I, I just use my normal bot kit receiver, but um, it's actually supposed to look like this. But due to weight, I had to get rid of the plastic cover. So there it is. You can actually see it behind the plastic wedge. And now it feels like a good time to talk about weight. So I had to do a lot, and I mean a lot, to get Backstabber down to weight because first of all, not only does it use two motors that should normally just be used in beetle weights, but it has this giant ESC and a giant linear actuator. So that's not good. So first thing, uh, this wedge right here, normally Backstabber uses a metal one, but obviously that wasn't going to work. So I just made some out of plastic um, as you can see, I kind of filed it down to be as sharp to the ground as possible. And I can only use one set of screws here. Instead, because if you look at the holes, you can tell they're supposed to be three on each side. But once again, weight could not do that. So I just decided to put two on, on the wedge. And it should be good in general. Because this wedge isn't made to fight spinners, or at least... Uh, big spinners meant to fight verts with uh, feeder wedges, wedge spots, flippers, all that other stuff. So it shouldn't need to take a hit. So there's no real point in making it all that robust. Um, if you look at the sides of Backstabber, there are giant holes in it. I had to drill big holes in there because the plastic took up a lot of space. There's even holes in the back. Um, and uh, 
don't really know what else to say here. Um, as mentioned before, I had to get rid of the plastic cover on the receiver. And just this thing was so hard to get down to weight. I can see why people were telling me not to put VO8 motors in there. But I did it anyways because I just didn't care. Not because I don't care about their opinions, but because I'm a weird person. Um, so now let's talk about, uh, what was it? I'll know in the next cut. Oh, now, okay, I remember now. Um, so first off, I actually will still be using this little metal wedge, but only for an anti-horizontal configuration because a horizontal spinner of any kind would easily just smash through this, smash through around the receiver, and just kill backs out instantly. The only problem is that in order to use that thick metal wedge, I'll have to get rid of the entire crushing system. So if in the event I fight a horizontal spinner, I'm pretty much going to act only as a wedge. And another thing to note is that Backstabber is actually based off of an Ant-1 kit. They don't actually sell the entire kit anymore at bot kits, but um, they still sell its parts, so that's good for me. And one of the biggest problems with that kit is that because of the geometry, unless it had magnets and the floor was steel, the robot would always flip over. And even though I was using different motors than the ones bot kits would normally give me, uh, Backstabber did exactly that in testing off screen. It just flipped over and it, it, it was not good. Which is why I had to put this little wheelie bar. Like, remember how Kraken from BattleBots, it used to have that problem where it would wheelie back or something? And they put a wheelie bar on it to make sure it didn't do that? That's pretty much what I did with Backstabber. Um, it's just uh, random plastic glued on. So hopefully the Backstabber you know, just goes, it doesn't flip over. So you're gonna flip over, backstabber, just in general, it will not self-write. It can't self-write, it can't self-write here. Um, it, even if I did this, the wheels, they would touch the ground maybe, but because of the wheelie bar, it wouldn't be able to flip over. So if I fight a flipper or a vertical spinner flips me over, I am screwed to the highest degree. Um, I don't know what else to say about backstabber, so let's do some testing. Okay, so right now Backstabber is powered up. As you can see, um, it is turned on and off with this little connector port. I didn't have way for a switch. So whenever I need to, I'm just going to pull it out whenever I need the robot off. And as you can see, you can see the lights for the receiver and the light for the ESC. Now let's start the drive. Yeah, the drive is way faster than it's ever been. Now let's do the crusher. Yeah, Crusher same speed as it always been, but that's to be expected. Let's do the Crusher and just and the drive at the same time. Okay, that's good. Now uh, let's crush some things. Um, as I, I feel like I should point out that Backstabber's Crusher, of course, it's not going to be strong enough to go through metal. But besides that, it can go through other materials uh, not too um, difficultly. You can't go through hard, free print plastic either. Um, but uh, we're just going to crush random stuff anyways because that's the funnest part of owning crusher, crushing stuff. Plastic. A cardboard box. Backside can open boxes now. A turtle. That turtle is strong. That's, that's one powerful turtle. turtle is safe okay so obviously none of that was any real testament to backstabbers overall strength none of those materials were particularly hard to crust except for the turtle um no Conroe could ever hurt a turtle that's why shell shock is the best battle bot in the world it should have been a 2019 champion um anyways so we're gonna see how backstabber actually does against another combat robot so serving as a test dummy is this little ant weight i'm working on 
Project Striker. Has a little eyeball to help look into your soul and whatnot. Um, funny story, I actually won this as a prize from Class of the Bots a few months back. So, uh, Backstabber actually won the award for Most Destroyed Robot. And as and as a prize, I actually won a free Safu kit from kitbots.com. Now, funny enough, the robot that actually did enough damage to Backstabber for to win that award was Safu. Like the Safu owned by the same guy who owns kitbots.com. So basically, he destroyed my robot with Safu kit and then gave me a free one. So here we are. I actually planned on kind of getting Project Striker ready for Robot Ruckus 2 as kind of like a second ant weight, but I decided not to do that because, uh, first off, I didn't want to take two spaces when there are so many people wanting to go to this competition. Two, it would be too much work to do two ant weights at the same time with so much repairs, and free to holding would just be too expensive to do. So I can only choose to do the crusher or the spinner, and obviously I chose the crusher for whatever reason. So now we're going to see what happens when uh, Backstabber attacks this. Uh, let's get to testing. Uh, okay, so obviously that did not go as planned. In case you couldn't tell, Backstabber's entire tooth broke off from me trying to do that weird spin move but luckily I just grew it I just glued it back in but now that I thought of it that might actually be a good thing because like kind of like Spectre between bots if a spinner were to hit the head on the tooth only the tooth would come out and the head would stay intact so I could still like kind of grab them but obviously I don't want it to fall out every time I try to grab a robot so I just put some glue in so I mean that could be a good thing I guess um, and so first off, I've never driven a robot this fast. As I said, this is the first time I'm ever using motors this big. And I just had no control over the robot. I have to learn to drive this thing. Like, you know that sharp turn the robot took in the video? That was not intentional. That was me trying to go forward, but I messed it up and that happened. So for the next month, I'm going to do my best to figure out how to drive this robot because you shouldn't make giant mistakes in the box. That could cost you a match. Um, so overall, I guess that's it for this overview of Backstabber version 3. Um, yeah, this robot, it, obviously, it's not going to win a lot. It, it just isn't. It's not competitive in even the slightest way. But I don't really care because I just love driving it. It's such a fun design for me to use. And, um, I'm always going to be interested in this design. So, but who knows, maybe I might get one or two wins. Backstabber... Um, it has never failed to win at least once at a competition. It won once against Gumbo and Maker Fair last year, and it got a weird decision against um, some finger tech kit this year at Class to Boss. So who knows? Backstabber might pull a Mohawk and fail horribly, or pull a Spectre and be a Crusher Grand Champion. But you'll never know. Um, so see you next time. Laters.